All right, so what's up, everyone, and welcome to another video that won't go up like seven months after it's recorded. <laughs> but it's going to be uh, Avir joining us again to talk about the next wave of uh, DLC for Smash Ultimate with Fighter Pass 2. Hello, lovely ladies and gentlemen on the Dad's channel. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Yes, indeed. Uh, so something, oh, we were discussing other parts of it, but something I forgot that we could definitely start with is because we know Fire Pass got announced, well, with six characters first off, and we know the first character is coming from ARMS, it probably would be fun to talk about who do we think from ARMS, you know, has a chance of taking that spot. Yeah, um, obviously we had this discussion on Japan time, of course, remember to, uh, Check out the Japan Time podcast that features both of us every Monday. Uh, well, almost every Monday. Yeah, but, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, I personally am kind of in the mindset of doubling down that it's going to be the um, whoever, like the face or mascot character of a potential arm sequel is going to be. That's who I'm like, who I really feel is going to be at this point. Okay. That's, yeah, that's kind of where my head is, and I think it's... Well, I would put it on Min Min, since she mm. won the last, like, party crash they did. And if it's similar to how Splatoon was, when uh, one of the Squid Sisters won their, like, end-of-the-game event, the next game rolled through and had them pivotal to the story, basically. Yeah. yeah cause I, I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd love to see Min Min. She's uh, my personal favorite character from ARMS. Um, yeah, same. And if if she became like the masculine character of an arm sequel would be really really cool. Yeah, I think I think that would be the most well, for us obviously that would be the most fun since we both play the Min Min. But mm -hmm. I'd I'd also think the uh, Bowser Jr. style would be really interesting if they could do it and then you can get multiple characters, but then some mm -hmm. like uh Bark and Bite and Twin Tail and like the flying girl who's in every tournament don't really work for that, but like most of the other characters are like the same body type, so it could work on them at least. Yeah, you have like, you've got Springman, Ribbon Girl, Ninjara, Min Min kind of, uh... Springtron, uh, Springtron, uh, Kid that, Cobra kind of. Yeah, Kid Cobra could probably work on that. There's like that Shulk. He's not actually Shulk, he just has different colors. He's basically mm -hmm. their body type. A lot of the other ones are more distinct, so those ones wouldn't really work on that. Unless they just don't care and just put them. Because like, the Koopa kids aren't all the same size, but they're all in, you know, bad. Yeah, but I think they could be flexible enough for the Koopa kids to kind of let it slide. I think the other thing that they could do is um, have whoever they add reference those characters in their old costumes, just as like different color palettes, kind of like how Shulk does. Um, but then have the actual characters as background cameos to the arm stage, much like how the King of Fighters and um, Garag Mark stages have their character cameos in the back. That's very true, because that's something I think would be a... Uh, well, it's something I haven't really thought about. I was like, what stage? I guess it's probably like the Spring Arena, unless they do like the stage for Max Brass, like the very end of like the arcade stage. I like, probably mm. one of those. Yeah, I mean, arm stages in general are like, kind of stay straightforward. We can, it's reasonable to expect that it's going to be some kind of arena and probably going to have its spectators and what have you. Kind of like a similar to boxing ring or King of Fighters uh, stadium type of deal, but probably with its own little twists and quirks. Yeah, it'd be uh, it'd be cool if they did do the multiple characters. If when you're in, like how the audience references the character you're playing like they, they'll have the mask and stuff on mm. so they like swapped who's in the audience based on who you pick if they did that style that'd be cool okay but yeah, yeah that's uh, what I, I, I think that's most of what we can talk about for arms if you want to go into music but that's a different video series that i have to start doing again <laughs> and uh so we can go straight into who else we think is going to happen so last time we started with nintendo so we can start there again yep. uh you said new Fireman 3 Houses character and got it. You predicted Eldegard because she seemed like the flagship for the game came out, but you got it basically because it was Byleth. As the uh, um, I'm upset that I got that. I mean, but <laughs> <laughs> you should be proud. You gotta take that one. 
And then, uh, so yeah, another thing we did, to clarify this, is we did safe picks and then like off the wall. So safe pick is something that we think is a, has a reasonable chance of happening. And then off the wall is just like, you know, if all stars align, maybe this happens. Yeah. So your safe pick was uh, for three else's character. Mine was Bandana D. Because honestly, I can't think of anyone else in Nintendo at this point. <laughs> so I was like, oh, you know, Kirby needs a rep. It's been a couple games, so let's go with that. And then for Off the Wall, you first said Geno or Hades, and then you came back and said Wonder Red. That's definitely my 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 bias. I would still say Wonder Red, even though I still I still want him to get through, especially with the the wonderful one one remastered on the horizon coming out. Um, I don't know when this video is going to be up, but in May, I believe is when that game is coming out. So yeah, in May of twenty twenty. So yeah, if, if it was going to happen, now was a really good time. They yeah, can get it to work. The window has reopened. And for me, I said Isaac, because I think, I, and I, mm, okay, so I still have Isaac there, right? But now I think about it, if if this counts as Nintendo, it probably doesn't, because it's technically third party, but he's really only on Nintendo consoles. I would go with like Travis Touchdown, which honestly, mm -hmm. looking again at this, I'm surprised none of us said him. Mm. <laughs> But like he seems like he he seems like he should just work, and like he's one of those characters. Where it seems like why is why is he not there? Yeah, Travis is sick, especially since No More Heroes Three is coming out. We don't know we don't know when that game is coming out, but sometime in the future. Yeah, they they got a couple games like that for some reason, <laughs> where it's just like yeah, you know, down the line we'll do this eventually. Hey, Bayonetta, Metroid Prime Four, one day. Oh, Bayo fan. <laughs> I've been waiting since oh the Game Awards 2016 or 17. Yeah, that's, that's kind of crazy that they got a trailer like, yeah, it's coming, and then nothing <laughs> for this long. But, you know, at least it's not cancelled. That's true. But, but we keep getting those those like semi-frequent updates. Oh, yeah, Bayonetta 3 development is going fine. And, and they've been saying that for the past three years. So I um, can't help but feel a little seed of doubt in people's minds. That's true, but I guess it's like, would you rather they take their time with it, or there's the risk of, you know, most AAA studios just rush that shit out and then patch yeah, it later. Yeah. So, I guess it's good Nintendo at least. Yeah, we'll just we'll just chill. We don't have to work, force anything. Mm -hmm. All Platinum's right. just had their hands full on a bunch of other things. Uh, of course, there's still the, the Platinum 4 thing, but I guess that could be a discussion for another video. Yeah, I hope. I hope that actually does happen. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be so nice. Is it, I mean, oh, quick aside, we're gonna get to them later, but like, it's nice that Capcom's been doing better. <laughs> this mm. is the last video, they've released some really good games. Yeah. Which, actually, that section's probably gonna change, based on one of those. But, uh, next is Namco Bandai. So, I still can't believe they don't have a character, besides Pac-Man, <laughs> when they helped make mm. two Smash games. <laughs> so, I, I really feel like, this is the time. I feel like I probably said this last time, but this is the time. I think they're going to get someone. Uh, so how do you feel in general about their like chances at a character? Um, I, yeah, no, I think it's pretty decent this time around. I mean, we've got five different characters left. Um, I personally want to stick with the, with the picks that I had before in, um, like a flagship Tekken character, as well as the Katamari Prince. I think those were fun picks. Yeah, the Katamari Damacy would be... Uh, I keep thinking, like, how is it going to work? But it would probably be hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It really would. Like, every time I think about that game, it's like, I should go back and play that. Because that game is so just weird. But it's so interesting while you're playing it. Reroll is on sale on the eShop at the moment. You can get it for pretty cheap. Oh, okay. I'll have to look into that then. Do you know how long that yeah. sale lasts? Um... I'm not sure because a bunch of games on the eShop at the moment are on like sale up to 80% off. Um, but I'm not sure how long. It's like, I want to say it's less than $15 at the moment. Okay. Yeah, that seems like something I should get then. Is it just like a remaster of one or is it just like a new game? I believe it's a remaster of the first game. Eh, that's okay. I mean, the first game's on like PS2. I don't want to dig that thing out to play it. So get it on the mm. Switch. Definitely fine. Um, so for my picks, I picked a Soul Calibur character because it feels like, especially 
as of late, like, both of us basically picked their two, like, flagship fighting games that they actually have games for again, which is nice. So mm. I really want Siegfried or Nightmare. I feel like they picked Nightmare, since Nightmare is technically the flagship, even though it could be argued it's Siegfried, but there's whole Soul Calibur games he's not even in. <laughs> like, what do you really think about it? Because yeah. his connection with Nightmare. And then I went back and talked about Lloyd from Tales, because I remember there was an interview with the Tales creator, and he was helping with Smash 4, if you on what. But he mentioned that he wanted a Tales of character in there, and like, Tales is such a big series for Namco Bandai, I could see them doing it. Mm -hmm. and then off the wall is Konoha. It will always be Konoha. And I'm not changing that. <laughs> because I always wanted him. I thought they could put him in over Pac-Man. He's got Pac-Man on his hat. It's close enough. <laughs> but no. And uh, some new developments from last time. They re-upped the trademark for Klonoa. So hopefully they actually do something with that character, but possibly not. Uh, we always get hyped for these re-up uh yeah. trademarks they rarely lead to anything there's another one later that they bring up <laughs> it will probably lead to nothing but you know hopefully all right well ne next is uh konami and i don't know if we're gonna change these the so last time you said it right and and i said bomber man because we both felt like with the belmonts and snake it's like who else do you even pick from them yeah um okay so here's here's something here's another off the wall i didn't have before Technically, Konami owns the rights to Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, <God. laughs> they could do Yu-Gi. Because mm. they, they make the card game, they make all the games. Uh, they always just give credit to the original creator, but like everything Yu-Gi-Oh based is from Konami. It's kind of it's like one of the reasons why they kind of don't have to like go really hard in games. And they do like pachinko machines instead sometimes. Because like they just own Yu-Gi-Oh. So they have tons of money <laughs> just from owning Yu-Gi-Oh. Now, how what likely about the Silent Hill character? Yeah, we mentioned that too. I think mm -hmm. I, I mentioned uh, Pyramid Head, and we both thought it'd be weird <laughs> yeah. to, to see him in Smash. But like, my thing with Silent Hills is like the protagonists don't really stand out that much. Maybe like the one from Three, just because she was in one as well. Mm. But besides that, they're just guy slash girl with gun and flashlight. It's like how I think Silent Hill would be a cool assist trophy they added one, like they did with Fatal Frame. <laughs> Mm. Well, I think that could work, but I don't. A fighter seems so like. What do you do? Yeah, Silent Hill's iconic more for its like more for its atmosphere and its kind of narrative rather than its characters per se. Yeah, I think like if they actually did extra stages, like a Silent Hill stage, probably would fit really well because then you can get like the atmospheric nature that the game is and some music too or something. Hmm. All right, well, Kanawi is always the short one. <laughs> so, now we have Sega. So, Sega, we both were like, kind of, who do you pick? So we just did two off the walls. So, you had Shadow and Knights. And I had a PSO character and Billy Hatcher. See, my hopes for another Sonic character get, um, they dwindle as time progresses. Yeah, I feel, I feel that like too. I feel like it's less of a probability. But then, who from Sega do we add to Nuts in their stead? Yeah, because it's like, really, Sonic and Persona are like two of their biggest series right now. Mm. And they're both already in Smash. Bayonetta's yeah. there, even though it's like, people forget that they they own it. But like, you know, she's there too. So then it's like, yeah, you pick like, oh, they're Sonic Team characters, like Knights, PSO, or Billy. <laughs> Actually, I'm looking at it, we picked four Sonic Team <laughs> characters. That's funny. But, yeah, so that's kind of like, yeah, I, don't, I mean, I'm trying to really think about who else from Sega, and it's just like, yeah, I really don't know. They Obviously, they have other games, but it's just like, you do like maybe, a Jet Set Radio character, which would be interesting, but are they going to do that at this point? Maybe a Streets of Rage character. That's true, I forgot they own Streets of Rage. Mm. Uh, I know that um, Streets of Rage 4 is coming out very soon, but that game I don't think was published by Sega. Mm -hmm. And it's published by a different company. Or like, someone from... They own Golden Axe, right? I'm pretty sure that's them. Yes. Yeah, okay. I'll try to like, ha honestly, to remember Sega characters, I think I've, uh... Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transform. <laughs> it's like, oh, who's in that game? Alright, all these characters. So, you could do, uh... Vice. 
forget what his game is even called. But, Skies of Arcadia. Yes, Skies of Arcadia. Or like Panzer Dragoon just got a re-release. I don't know how the hell you do that. The bud. It's kind of where Sega kind of is. All right, now Capcom. So both of our safe picks are Monster Hunter. <laughs> because, yeah. well, we're Monster Hunter because, uh, yeah, it kind of makes the most sense. Still kind of does, even though Violet is kind of Monster Hunter function. You can still do it. Change yeah, I things. still believe. So your off the wall is Beautiful Joe, which I feel like it's kind of set in stone. I still want to put faith in my boy, yep. Yeah, honestly, I think he would be really cool to see. But like, especially the way they could do, because of how faithful Sakurai is. There's so much stuff you could do with Beautiful Joe. I think it would be mm. really cool. And mine was Edward Falcon from Power Stone, so he's the flagship of that game. I still want to believe in him. Uh, <laughs> that was the other thing I was talking about, because they re-upped the uh, copyright for Power Stone, but haven't done anything with it yet. So Yeah. Hoping. If I were to substitute one of my characters, let's say for the sake of this discussion, uh, I would substitute the Monster Hunter. It would probably be for Dante. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I thought we got the Capcom. We're probably gonna yeah. have Dante, and I definitely agree. I feel like, especially after all the leaks that have happened, <laughs> it just made it seem more and more plausible that Dante could happen. Mm. So yeah, I could definitely see it. My, my heart is still for Monster Hunter, just because I'm biased. But I think Dante is still an incredibly good choice if they do go with that. And I feel like with five more characters, I feel like we're bound to get some third party, even though they led with a first party this time, because it's like. Who else first party can they pick? ARMS was like pretty much the last, I feel like, last Nintendo first party that's not in this game. Besides like very, very old retro characters. And I could see them doing like one of those, but are they going to do five of those? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think so. Now we have Square Enix, who uh, is a little less lame compared <laughs> to the last <laughs> video. And uh, so you called this completely right. You said uh, your save pick was the Dragon Quest main character. Which did happen. Indeed. We did get Hero. And then mine was Tiz from Bravely Default. And for Off the Wall, we both just said Sora. Because it's like the obvious kind of, well, if it could happen, this would be sick character. Mm. I wonder, um, speaking of Bravely, of course, Bravely Default 2 is on Horizon. I wonder if um, instead of Tiz, we might get, I believe his name is Seth. The main yeah, character Seth. of, yeah. Honestly, mm. Seth seems like he has more, I mean, it's a, it's obviously weird to say this, but he has more character than a character I like that is Tiz from the little I've seen. Like, I don't know. Bravely Default 2 just seems in general like they're going more out of their way to like, you know, make it, they can do more with it. So like when you get to a character, they actually say something or in Bravely Default, they don't really until you like use mm. an ability. But two, they say something when they attack, they say something when they kill enemies, they say something when they brave or default. Like, yeah, I, I'll be down for C-Seth. I still, I still want a Bravely character because I want to hear Bravely music remixed and smashed <laughs> because yeah. he's so sick. Also, it's probably not, you know, co-copyrighted by someone else. I'm guessing that's why I only got two, uh, mostly from, two Final Fantasy songs and then basically only two Dragon Quest songs. It's just two per game because mm. of that. So I'm thinking if we get like Bravely, we can probably get more music. But yeah, there. I don't. I don't know. I think if we go with everyone probably getting at least two, it's. I just look at Namco Bandai and it's like, why? <laughs> why do they just have Pac-Man? They made two games, and then for the others, uh, which will add two more after it, which are a little more far stressed than other. Well, one of them goes on that, but still. So you said Spider-Man just as a quick fix, and I think still it'd be really cool if that did happen. It's got to get Disney to uh. Agreed. And that that in of itself is um a challenge. Yeah, I was I was thinking actually something since last time that Disney basically got rid of their own like game studios and are just outsourcing for all their games now. So I feel like it, it could happen, but again it's like you know, stars align kind of situation. Will this happen? Yeah. And then uh I said banjo and kazooie, which I'm glad that you were right. <laughs> so I got one. <laughs> one for however many. <laughs> Because I like my whole reasoning, and I'm glad it happened because Smash does not have, well, did not have a Western representative. The best we had was like K. Rule and Dark Samus, but mm. they're still from Japanese series. But Banjo is like just a Western character who is very yeah. much tied to Nintendo for the early history. So, and like we got all the signs from like Phil Spencer, who leads uh, Xbox, saying like, yeah, if they want to use Banjo, they can feel free. And it just 
every the stars aligned and it worked out. I'm so happy that he got into the game. Cause Banjo's in there, we have another third party in Microsoft. So now we can something new. So a safe pick for Microsoft if you have it. Lost Chief. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <100%. laughs> that was like the quintessential safe pick. Yeah, that's exactly where my head was, was like, yeah, I'm probably gonna say Master Chief because it's just like, <laughs> if you're gonna pick one, imagine a remix of the Halo main theme. Imagine <laughs> it. It's too good to pass up. And then it's like, for specials, you should use different weapons, like, yeah, I, like, it's it's the thing that would be sick if it did happen. I don't know if it's going to happen, <laughs> but, but it'd be really cool if they could do it. Even, I would even take like a me costume if they do that down the line because they've been adding a lot of those. Which the Altair one, I can't believe it <laughs> to this day. Yeah, that was so that was so out there. So, where did that come from? Yeah, uh, honestly, we're gonna come back to them because I feel like they at this point deserve something. Which <laughs> it's like, why don't they have anything? And then if you have uh, an off the wall on uh, Microsoft, what would it be? Um, oof. I'm honestly not sure. Um, ooh, you know who would be quite cool? Vogel from Killer Instinct. Oh yeah, that would be sick. A KI character. I was like thinking around in my head like who else, but yeah. Like, b both and also old Nintendo. That's actually a really good one. Because KI mm. used to be only on Nintendo consoles and arcades. So like bringing back a Killer Instinct character and then Fulgore. KI music would also be sick. The Yes. The 2013 soundtrack for KI is so, so good. Yeah, because mine was still actually a rare character, funny enough, I think, we, besides Master Chief. <laughs> We're just like, yeah, probably something for rare. Uh, well, first I was going to do a joke one of Blink's the Time Cat, but just no. Just uh, <laughs> leave that where it is, whatever void it's fallen into. But then my, point, my other thought was like, you know what? View the pinata, because I'm very biased. I don't know how that would work, but like, I just want to see something for View Pinata, man. A game so and team will find a way. Yeah, they can make it work, but it's just like that game was so much fun, and then Rare just hasn't done anything with it since. I'm just like, why? But honestly, I, I'm with you though. It's like uh, KI characters, but full gore, probably very flagship for that game. Mm. So yeah, definitely a KI character would be really sick. Um, okay, so the other one I had initially for this would be Sony. Now, I think the weird part is, I think the two obvious picks from Sony aren't owned by Sony anymore. <laughs> but maybe we could leave them in off the wall for Sony, because I feel like, who else do you pick? So do you have like a safe pick that is 100% just Sony? Um... God, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think of like PlayStation All-Stars I feel like the ones in that game, uh, that could be in Smash, or already in, or rather like the characters that, that I think of immediately, and mm. I think Sony are kind of already be in. I guess there's the obvious kind of Crash or Spyro. Yeah, those are the two I was referencing, but the problem mm. is Activision owns both of them now. Yeah. Case, so I guess the other of like that trilogy is Sly Cooper. Hmm. Because, uh... Pretty sure, because he's Insomniac, and Sony has Insomniac still. So like, not Insomniac. He's Sucker Punch. Sorry. So he's Sucker Punch, and so he still has Sucker Punch. So like, he'd be like, if you picked like a Sony exclusive that's like, you know, full on. We still own this. Sly really works because he's also like the platformer, cartoonish character would really fit in Smash. Uh, if you want realistic, also Sucker Punch because one of the ones I would like to see from him is Cole. Now people get upset at Cole because PlayStation All Stars <laughs> for some reason decides so like, let's have good and evil Cole. It's like why just make it a neutral Cole? Let him have good and evil moves. Like what are you doing? But yeah, I love Infamous, so I'd be hundred percent down for that. Uh, my other one is probably Kratos. Now they have to tune him mm. down a lot because he can't be killing people. But you know he can just have his moves go off. There's some violent characters. Well, a violent character in Smash. In Bayonetta, yes. who just doesn't yeah. kill people. It's not impossible. Yeah, man, Sakurai could definitely figure it out. I feel I like that'd be like... Hmm? I wonder which version of Kratos they would they'd use. I feel if they'd, they'd use like the younger one. And probably have a costume for the older one. Hmm. But it's like the easiest way. Like with, you know, Cloud obviously has default Final Fantasy VII and FF children. 
Yeah, like yeah. the choice. Well, I guess the no. I mean, I haven't played the new God of War, so I'm like, what do they add? Just a beard? And it's like it's definitely worth more than that. <laughs> it definitely has more difference than that. But it's like the first thing that comes to my mind. He always had a beard, and it's like it became longer, and it just looks a lot older. And... Yeah, fair enough. Mm. But yeah, I think the off the wall picks for Sony is just Spyro. They crashed. <laughs> like, if I had yeah. to talk about the crash, like Activision, like they definitely represent Sony as much as Banjo represents Nintendo. And then what I want to add is Ubisoft, because in my mind, at this point, how do they not have so <laughs> Like, how? Where's Rayman? I know, Rayman was a trophy. I don't know if he's still a trophy, but like... <laughs> but this Rayman. game, Ultimate doesn't have trophies anymore. It's just oh, spirits. yeah, right. Yeah, I don't even think he's... A is he a spirit? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, so like, Rayman's such an easy choice. The rabbits are a cop thing. Goodness, the rabbits are a costume and not. <laughs> I did not. I did not want rabbits. <laughs> I'm so sick of them. They just showed up and, like, Rayman has been gone since. And then. Now we have, like, Altair as a costume in Smash. Like, w what in the world? How? How has this happened? And Ubisoft still has no one. So, like, who do you. I mean, I think obviously our first choice for both of us is Rayman. Yeah. Because, <laughs> like, it's such an obvious pick. Like,. Why didn't it happen? Why not at least an assist trophy or something? Since Bomberman got put there. Poor soul. <laughs> uh, do you have like an off the wall for them? Um, well, one that comes to mind. Let me see. Uh, yeah, not really one that comes to mind. Because like, my go to's would be Rayman and Assassin's Creed. Yeah. Maybe no. So they could since Altair is the costume, they could do like Ezio. Hmm. Because Ezio is like the more popular of the two, so like they did want to put one in the game, they could do it. And a little like a little Easter egg, or not Easter egg, a little tidbit is Namco Bandai has made a version of Ezio for their game because he was in Soul Calibur Five. Yeah. So they have a they have at least experience making you know a version of the character for a like fighting game. So if they were to pick him, like Nanko Bandai's working on this game, obviously, like it's possible, but that could work pretty well. I still Maybe. can't believe all tie years. <laughs> I can't get over it. Every time I think about it is like how did this, it's so cool, but how did this happen? I will 100 percent take it though, because like I Assassin's Creed was one of those games I loved it. Until, you know, they just released it every year and I stopped like. But like Yeah. All the way up to like Black Flag, I love that series. Definitely it starts to get rather exhausting after a while yeah i think and if we talk a little bit about ubisoft in general they started doing that a lot and they've been taking a big hit recently so i think they're realizing that yeah we can't just keep releasing games it's slight updates just make you know we need to put more time on this because like mm -hmm. literally all their games assassin's creed far cry like the rainbow six games besides siege uh yeah they've all just been yearly updates and it's just like they haven't been selling as well because you released the same game with slight changes. Um, I think that's kind of it. There's not really any obvious third parties. I guess if we do a new other category, or we already did other, but like, my head goes to like Bethesda. I, I want to say Bioware, but just no. They're just sad. <laughs> And like, oh, Bioware. I know. It's so. Like, Bethesda, Bioware, Blizzard were like the three Bs of Western RPGs I thought could do no wrong, and all of them are messed up. It's just sad. But for Bethesda, like, I guess Doom Guy. It'd be kind yeah. of obvious if they did one. Like, he's just way more iconic than, like, a Skyrim character, some Elder Scrolls character. Like, it just works so well just to have him. Mm. And then. Well, we kind of did Activision already with Spyro Crash, which is too obvious. Uh, Blizzard... I would want a Warcraft character. No, I don't think Blizzard's getting anyone. But if they did, I want someone from Warcraft. Yeah, they'll probably pick an Overwatch character, but like... I'm biased. <laughs> what do you think for either of those? Um... I'm, I'm not really too sure. Because I'm not really that invested in either um, company's titles. Uh, yeah, I can't really say for sure. And at this point, it's just like, we really have this huge surplus of characters that we've kind of gone through and suggested. And we only have five potentials. Yeah, that's fair enough. 
And so with that, you know, we'll probably wrap it up there. So uh, if you're working people, you know, catch you, they want to hear more from you, or see you play some games or the like. You can, uh, well, you can follow me. I don't really make much YouTube content these days. You can follow me on Twitch. I stream every now and then at virum underscore sd, v i r u m underscore sd. Um, you'll find the most of me on Twitter, where I just ramble about nonsense. Um, but yeah, and of course, uh, Japan time every Monday at uh, 6 p.m. PST. Actually, consistent this time. For a yeah. Change. It we've missed up. a couple, um, but we've, we've, we've got the majority. Yeah, we've had more episodes within the, like, these four months than we have for probably like the past few years. <laughs> and that's crazy, but it's been going pretty strong. Happy that uh, Roger's new year resolution has been uh, kept up. <laughs> mm. And uh, yeah, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, hope to catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Hey,